So last time on Subnautica, I made a Cyclops, and I attempted to go to the Grand Coral Reef where I encountered a Ghost Leviathan. Or Ghost Reaper Leviathan, whatever they're called. And to my horror, I discovered that I was not prepared for it at all. And I ran away because I don't want to destroy my nice, beautiful sub. So I've made decoys and I have resolved to making the Cyclops auto defense system, which requires the uh, the Seamoth defense system. But both of those require polyaniline or polyaniline whichever it is, and that comes from a particular type of mushroom, which, uh, let's see, that was the deep shrooms? Yeah, that was the deep shrooms, which are really only found in either the, uh, the blood kelp or sea treasure's path. And I chickened out because I remember I was recording really late that time. But anyways, so to get one thing out of the way, I have not played Subnautica since the beginning of March. March like 12th or something like that. So it has been April, May, June, July. It's been four months, give or take, since I last played Subnautica. So it's seriously already getting dark. I must have wasted time running around. Uh, yeah, what I need to do is get polyaniline from the deep shrooms. That's not what I was talking about. But yeah, anyways, so my last recording session of this was back in March. The episode I launched in May was from that recording session. A lot has been going on in the past four months, and... A lot of my projects on the channel have just kind of been pushed into the background. But I really do want to get back into Subnautica. I was having a lot of fun playing it. Anyways. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going. I need to get the polyaniline, which is from the deep shrooms. Why do I have to come back at night? But you know, I did at least fix the issue with um, everything being pitch black. I can see now. I don't know that you guys are going to be able to see because YouTube tends to eat or the YouTube compression algorithm tends to eat things that are too dark. Okay, here we go. So, the thing I need is down there in that crevasse. And I really don't know how I'm going to manage that with the electric eels and the crab squids. What is up with the sand sharks doing that? I remember seeing that once when I was editing, like it just kind of boogied across the bottom. Well, you know, there went one again. Okay, um... Right, now how am I going to do this? Do I wait for daytime again? Or do I just go for it? Because I need to drop straight down into there, or I need to find a different place to go. So it's either here, or I try to go for the Blood Kelp Islands to the north. Actually, no, the Deep Shrooms are not even in the Blood Kelp Islands. I could go to the Sea Treaders Path. That should be a little bit better. So the two big things in there are the Sea Treader Leviathans and Warpers. That might be the better place to go. So yeah, it's been decided I'm going to the Sea Treader Path instead of the Blood Kelp. Just because I don't trust the Blood Kelp quite as much. And then right there should be Sea Treaders. And that way, you can kind of see it go off that direction. It means the dunes are right there. Oh boy. Oh wow, that's a big piece of wreckage. Okay, there's a warper. Okay, that is actually a huge piece of wreckage. 
Okay. That out there is definitely Sea Treader. Now I need to be careful. Because that could be the drop off. Oh man, I do not like that. Is that really the Sea Treader's path? Because that is too steep of a drop off here. I'm going to go this way a little bit. Let's see if there is like a gradual decline. Okay, wait, there is the Grand Reef. I don't trust that. That's just diving too deep too fast. And diving too deep too fast means that it is more than likely going to be the uh, the edge of the world as I know it. Cause yeah, I'm looking around. I don't see sea treaders, by the way. Like this is not a large biome by any means. Looks like I do have to go into the blood kelp zone. I'm glad I wasted time here freaking myself out. Oh, but yeah, I did find out, though, the drop-off over there is THE drop-off. Meaning that it goes straight to the infinite nothingness. That is the, uh, ocean and the reaper breeding ground, or whatever the hell you want to call it. So... Now I guess I just need to head back to sea base 1, and keep an eye out for warpers as I drop down into the nothingness. Okay, here should be good if I just drop straight down. Man, I can't see anything. Wait, why is Seamoth number 3 34 meters? Seamoth number 3 is in my bay. What? Yeah, Seamoth number three is right here. That was weird. You're weird. Shut up. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, so looking at this, I'm actually clear on all sides. I think this is going to be my best entry point into here. I just got to wait for it to be a little bit more light than what it currently is. Otherwise, I have to turn on lights. And lights mean that crab squids are going to be there. Yeah, I wish they would show energy somewhere here. Yeah, no, it's... Oh, my God. Um, I'm going to have to spend some time recharging. Yeah, rigging for silent running consumes a lot of battery power. Good to know. Okay, it's starting to lighten up a little bit. Let me power the engines back. Okay, once I'm clear on those two, should be fine. Just need to keep an eye out for warpers. Like right there, there's a warper. I'm not seeing those mushrooms though. I see quartz. Um, whatever that guy is, but it's not mushrooms. Maybe I should start looking into upgrading the depth module on my Seamoth so I can actually launch it from the sub and look around down here. I think that should instead be my next objective.
if I can get it down to at least 300 meters, I think. Maybe, maybe a little bit deeper. I should be able to get these deep shrooms. Because yeah, I'm not seeing them. I mean, maybe they're there? It's a nice little patch of sand. Oh, amp eels. They're called amp eels. Hang on, wait. Is that them there? I don't know. That doesn't look like... Wait. Yes. That was a patch of them right there. Alright, I might be able to make a break for that. That's only about another 100 meters down. That ampule's not too close. I should be able to just dive down, grab a whole bunch, and then come back up. And then just make a break for it. Because I'm not seeing any crab squids. I'm not seeing anything... I'm not seeing any warpers. And I should be able to do an emergency um, ascent after this. Alright, I think here is good. I just have to watch out for that ampule. It is a little close for my liking. Let's make sure that there's nothing here. It's gonna mess with me too much. Oh! Oh, that was sitting right on top of those shrooms. New blueprint acquired. Okay. That's enough. I'm getting out of here. Welcome up, Captain. Woo! Okay, well, let's pop that up. Okay, and I did not move anywhere left to right, so this is just going to be me popping up to the surface. I am glad that I found a place where I could just squeeze the Cyclops in. Because, man, I don't know how I was going to manage that otherwise. Okay, so need to head back to base, make a list of everything else that I need to gather, and um, let's see. I think that should about do it. Oh, right. I also need to plant the deep shrooms. Okay, that's two bits of titanium. I think that's all I need for the exterior grow bed. Yep, that's all I need. I need to watch my oxygen. Let's see. Three, four of those. Ah, crap. Yeah, supposed to smack it like that. Smack it. Smack it. Good enough for now, I guess. Alright, so let me go ahead and make the list of things that I need. And I'll be back soon. Okay, so I need three gold, six deep shrooms, two salt, four silver ore, four copper ore, and two table core oral samples. I have 60 shrooms, two salt, three copper ore, and two coral samples. Oops, I accidentally transferred my power cell. So what that means is I still need three gold. So I need three gold. I need 
four silver ore. One copper ore. And that's the rest of the raw materials that I need. I've got some optional stuff that I plan on going after, but this is priority. So yeah, I'm gonna start working on that and um, I'll catch you guys here in a little bit. Ooh, it's the Jelly Shroom Caves. I'm really not down here for sightseeing. I'm just trying to find some sandstone. I'll take lithium. Oh boy. Glitchy stuff. Be happening. I just saw one of the little worms just shoot across the screen. Conditions in this cave support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. Alright, here we go. So I needed three gold, so three gold, six deep shrooms, six deep shrooms, four silver, four silver, four copper, four copper, and two coral samples. Did I say salt? I think I said salt. Anyway, so let me go ahead and take all of this out. Now let's go ahead and start making this up. I think that should be it. So let's come here, grab that. Perimeter defense. Got the Seamoth perimeter defense. Um, I'm gonna let that charge for a little bit. I can just swim up to here. That's not a big of a deal. Go, abscess the fabricator, and then auto defense system mark one. I'm just gonna go ahead and shove it in here. So it needs a seamoth with the perimeter defense system in the docking bay for it to work. There is an upgrade to it, however, that does make it so that I can just have a module there. Let's see, I need to go... So to show that to you, let me get out of here. Let's see, that was Cyclops upgrade. Here we go. So it requires the auto defense system Mark 1, the Seamoth perimeter defense system, a power cell, and magnetite. I have to find magnetite before I can make it. Seek fluid intake. I also need to take care of that. Okay, well, you know, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, I don't know how much of the footage here I can actually use because I did spend a lot of time um, wandering around the sea treasure path trying to figure out what was going on there and uh, whether or not the big drop off I found was the edge of the map or not. So I don't, I think I'm probably gonna end up cutting most of that. Hopefully the rest of this can actually make a good video. But anyways, thank you guys so very much for watching and have yourselves a very good day.